all right guys so this is the deal check it out we're gonna go take this tire that i've had that used to be on my g37 we're gonna take this to get this part fixed because uh yeah the tow truck guy i think he broke it when he was strapping down the, the straps so obviously my tire wouldn't move but he did it a little too hard snapped so we're gonna go take a look at that at a tire shop we're gonna see we're going to see if they could actually help me out with it uh, probably fix the valve stem and we're gonna test on those wheels on this z so that's something i'm really excited for because I, I i have never done it i don't even know what it's gonna what it's gonna feel like what it's gonna drive like what it's gonna look like Ooh. i always freaking scrape right here man i always scrape down here take a look at the damage chilling me chilling me. this 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 bumper is actually pretty yeah it's actually pretty durable it lasts a while my g37 bumper would take hits okay okay i love you And another fun fact about the Z32 is, as you can tell, we're actually almost gonna hit 100K, 100,000 miles. 100,000 miles and running stuff. That's incredible. I got it when it was 89,000. To be honest, it was like 89, 900s already. So it was almost close to the 90,000, so. But yeah, the wheels in the back, we're gonna go get this valve stem fixed. We're gonna try on these wheels on the Z and we're gonna see how I like them. Maybe keep them on them. Maybe keep them again sitting. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to wherever, wherever honestly I'm going. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. But all right guys, I'll see you guys. All right guys. So we got the tire fixed. You guys already know. All right, guys. So thank you to this shop right here, Pepe's Tire Shop. We got the tire up and running. Uh, they did tell me that I should have used an aftermarket valve stem, but the rubber valve stem will do. Uh, they filled it up there seems like it's holding pretty well now we're just gonna go um, you know I kind of actually wanted to remove my cats today but um, I also want to give a good cleaning to these wheels and then test them out For now I'm heading back home well actually I want to head to a shop and get some degreaser for the wheels um, so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna search up, I'm gonna look for something so I can buy a, a lot of cleaning supplies to just give a good cleaning to these wheels. And all right guys, so tires back there. I was watching Eliminate the video uh, yesterday actually, just pretty much. And I saw the video where they were picking up the 300 for KT. Damn, that shit was clean. It had a third brake light in perfect condition. Uh, if you guys are in the Z game, you guys know that that's a pretty much hard part to find. Oh my God, I just saw a dead rat. Saw a 
dead right. What the fuck was that? So yeah, you, you guys know that parts for the 300 is very hard to find, no matter what it is. Literally, no matter what it is. So watching that video, I saw some goodies on that car. The paint job was pretty well. 190 on the motor, not bad, but. Got almost 100 on this one. I got the wheel cleaning supplies right here. Uh, chemical guys. Oops. All right, guys. So technically, <laughs> so what I just read is that the wheels I have on right now are two 75s, 35. These are two 65s. 35 so I hope they will actually look good I hope so I hope they fit I hope I don't rub too much if I rub a bit it's okay cuz in the other ones I rub cuz in these I still rub some but I'm gonna clean these wheels I bought the cleaners so we're gonna clean them deep deep cleans and then we're gonna slap them on all right so actually just a disclaimer never let your mom touch your wheels because this is where they end up right here are you guys kidding me are you guys kidding me bro this is where they ended up so i'm all right guys we're hold on, hold on.
right guys so these are the products i bought to clean these wheels i'm new at this so if i got something you guys don't like don't give me shit for it <laughs> i'm just really tempted to put these wheels on to the z so that's what we're gonna do but first i need to clean them um, i'm gonna rinse them one more time and then i'll get to the spraying and stuff all right guys so i did i was able to put on these two the front one and the back one obviously as you can see honestly i do dig this look on the z like it's fucking sick it's actually pretty amazing and i've never seen a z like it <laughs> honestly um you know what fuck it we're just gonna do it i'm pretty sure they're gonna grow on me um i'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe them down again because i did get it dirty by touching the tires and stuff even touching my car i do want to give my car a wash too but it's so hot today it's like 97 degrees all right guys so this is the final touch right here as you can see and then on this side yeah looks good to me in my eyes in my eyes it does look good so there's the z on 19s wet sports so with the let me give you guys the full spec front wheel is 19 by 9.5 with the offset of 15 and tire size i'm running is 255 35 19. all right now the back i have 19 by 10.5 or 10 i'm not sure with the offset of the same thing 15 and th these tire size is 265 35 19. so if anybody tells you guys you can't run 19s on a z they're lying to you i think it looks good i just haven't rid the car yet so until i ride it i will give some feedback but uh, they had nice tires on them but i didn't really fuck with the wheels um yeah if you guys know me i've been bugging about these wheels for a while i don't like rep wheels um that's why i spent money on real wheels yeah. that's it for today's video um i'm sweating so you guys know that i put in a lot of work so you guys know that I'm not sitting around on my ass, scratching my ass, waiting for something cool to happen. I make it happen. All right. So this is it. This is the final. This is. <laughs> this. All right, guys. And until next time, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We have another video coming out next week, and it's gonna be pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And please leave a comment with what you think about the wheels. Um, your feedback actually also helps me out too. So, till next time. All right, guys, this is the last clip right here. Um, so, as I'm driving, um, I did remove the front wheels due to so much rubbing that I did not feel comfortable driving the car I just left the back ones um, so right now I'm running 7, 18s on the front and 19s on the back and right now the 19s are actually doing fine uh, I've only felt it rub like 4 times but I mean hey look at you but I mean that's pretty normal for California roads because our roads are the most shittiest roads ever. But the drive with the 19, the ride feels nice with the 19. 
so I'm not complaining about that uh, but I don't like that I'm not running the full set so uh, we are on a quest for new wheels so make sure you guys stay tuned for those if you guys have any uh, wheels that would look good on the Z and specific specs for the wheel please drop them down in the comment um, I will be looking at the comments uh, I mean maybe some of you have already found the, the correct combination for the right wheel specs so please give me some ideas right now I'm in a little bubble I'm gonna stay with these 19s on the back for a while and 18s on the front and I don't know how they look but as always make sure you guys like comment and subscribe uh, please comment some what you think about the wheels um, unfortunately we couldn't drive the 19s on the front so we're back with the TE reps in the front but all right guys um, I'll see you guys in the next video there it goes one rub another rub but all right guys I'll see you guys in the next video make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video it's coming right here. It's coming. Guys. This is going to be it. Right here. There it is. There it is. 100K on the dash. We did it. The Nissan 300ZX finally hit 100K today